there might be a one day or one hour where you will be missing the food of your made by your mother or you will easily you politely and make them understand about the situation once okay so it's it is very difficult for them to understand the new technology and it doesn't matter if how many questions you are attempting if you can attempt even a single question of that paper go for the examination and my next question is on that but when and how to handle this situation when my family not trust me for my goals as suppose i want to become a I, 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 I want to prepare for UPSC, but when my family not support for me and they told me that no, I have no more money, and I can't afford this thing, that is what I have to do. You have to find a reason. Find a reason why they don't trust you. You have to give them something. 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 You have to give them but when i discussed about this with my family and he told us that he now you have to focus in government sector because when you focus in government sector that time you get a good salary and you don't get a more work but when you focus in private sector then you have a not job security see but they don't know i i most of the time i try to convince them convince them but he don't See, you are the man of the changing era. Okay, we are, our world have seen many ages, like uh, ancient, uh, like ancient period, medieval period, and modern period, and many many ages, like old age, new age. And this uh, era is changing. The technology, with the technology, we are uh, we all are adapting. Like in the few years, uh, you might happen that your sons will be living in the space. Okay, but again, since the era is changing, not the people. Okay, our our fathers and mothers belong to the era like of 90s and 80s. They are still like those songs. Okay, so it's it is very difficult for them to understand the new technology and new terms, new things like uh, if you will go in the metro city, living is a very common term there. But can you name it here? No. So it's all about changes. Okay, with time, they also want to adapt in the new environment. But it will take time for them. What you have to do. Is make them understand the, all the new things, and it might take time. But it might take time. But again, you don't have to force your words to your parents, because they are not of your time. They are not of your age. This age, they are. They belong to the previous era where they haven't had dreamt of phone that which you carry. Okay, so you have to very. Easily, you politely and make them understand about the situation. Most of the time, alone and depressed, and this situation is hard to handle. Because now I am also in a job, and I am Every single time, his third question is how to cope with the depression. Okay, why are you depressed? Are you missing your home, your food? Why are you depressed? Overthinking. Oh, uh, why overthinking? What, uh, what, uh, what is the thing that you are missing? Also, know that you are here for a very good career. No, you also not know that you are here for a good career. It might happen that in a month, in a month, in you can say there might be a one day or one hour where you will be missing the food of your made by your mother, or you will be missing your mother. But it cannot happen the whole day or whole month. Everyone experiences that. Even I, when uh, I used to live in that. But when and how to handle this situation when my family not trust me for my goals. As suppose I want to become a IS officer and I want to prepare for UPSC. But when my family not support for me and they told me that now I have no more money and I can't afford this thing, that is what I have to do. You have to find a reason. Find a reason why they don't trust you. You have to give them something. किसी को भरोसा दिलाने के लिए कुछ करना भी होता है. Next one is I want to say exponentially because I want to go in private sector. But when I discussed about this with my family, and he told us that he now you have to focus in government sector because when you focus in government sector, that time you get a good salary and you don't get a more work. But when you focus in private sector, then you have a not job security. See, But they don't know. I, I most of the time I try to convince them, convince them, but he don't. See, you are the man of the changing era. Okay, we are, our world have seen many ages, like uh, 
ancient uh, like ancient period medieval period and modern period and many many ages like old age new age and this uh, era is changing the technology with the technology we are uh, we all are adapting like in the few years uh, you might happen that your sons will be living in the space okay but again since the era is changing not the people okay our our fathers and mothers belong to the era like of 90s and 80s they are still like those songs okay so it's it is very difficult for them to understand the new technology and new terms new things like uh, if you will go in the metro city living is a very common term there but can you name it here no so it's all about changes okay with time they also want to adapt in the new environment but it will take time for them what you have to do is make them understand the all the new things and it might it's a very strong take time but it might take time but again you don't have to force your words to your parents because they are not of your time they are not of your age this age they are they belong to the previous era where they haven't had dreamt of phone that which you carry okay so you have to very easily you politely and make them understand about the situation okay. and then next is when you begin Delhi, that I think you feel most of the time alone and depressed. And this situation is hard to handle. Because now I'm also in a lot of Every single time, his third question is how to cope up with the depression. Okay, why are you depressed? Are you missing your home, your food? Why are you depressed? Overthinking. Uh, why overthinking? What, uh, what, uh, what is the thing that you are missing? You also know that you are here for a very good career. No, you also not know that you are here for a good career. It might happen that in a month, in a month, in you can say there might be a one day or one hour where you will be missing the food of your made by your mother or you will be missing your mother. But it cannot happen the whole day or whole month. Everyone experiences that. Even I, when uh, I used to live in Delhi or. Uh, I even I experiences those moments. You might say even a week, within a week, within a month. But I'm not experiencing those in the whole of the day. That it I can only experience those when I will be sitting blank. Okay. And then you, I think you live in Delhi. Delhi is a lot of But uh, and I, you also visited most of the places. So which place you like in Delhi? And again, you want to visit this place. You motivated him, now he's trying to visit somewhere else. <laughs> well, uh, this is a question I don't think I'm the person you should ask, ask because uh, I haven't uh, like visited any of the places in Delhi. I have been still intact to the Karul Bagh. Okay, thank you. Next question. <laughs> Yeah, I know you well. Yeah. So, uh, I am happy that you, I see you after two months. Yeah. And actually, I also want to be a civil servant, mm -hmm. but I have a lack of knowledge regarding to how to be pressured about UPSC or how to start the preparation. Yes, and, and UPSC and other civil servant examination. So, I am uh, requesting you, hey, can you please give me your best suggestion that what should I do as a person? Yeah, I can suggest you the thing you should do to start the materials or you how should you start for the courses of UPSC. First, you have to don't have to run for the coaching that uh, which coaching I I should join. First, you have to see the syllabus. You have to understand those uh, things what is written in the syllabus and you have to analyze. Is it is it for me? Am I the person who can read all those things? And if you think you are the person you can read, if you have a confidence in yourself, then just uh, start, uh, just read a question paper, previous year question paper. And in that question paper, if you find even a single question that you can attempt, it doesn't matter if how many questions you are attempting. If you can attempt even a single question of that paper, go for the examination. And find all those books you have to read. Join a coaching who, can, who will be providing you the direction. They will not ensure that you will crack UPSC, but you they will ensure that what are the things you have to filter out. 